Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse today, Halloween, October 31st, 2022. Uh, There's the beginning of a trial, or a retrial here, U.S. versus Neil Cole. He was the head of brand manager Iconics, charged with securities fraud, um, and it was a big mistrial. It's almost exactly a year ago. There was some back and forth whether they put him on trial again, but they are, and we've, we're covering it. And we covered the filings over the weekend trying to quash his subpoenas. There's a uh, cooperator called Seth Horowitz. There's a lot going on. We're going to be covering that, uh, that trial. Uh, also down here in lower Manhattan, obviously, the Trump Organization case should have opening arguments today. It's a tax case about the organization and not Trump himself, but uh, we're on it. We're on it. We are on, and lesser known, here in SDNY is a case called Ilori, U.S. versus Ilori. It's a paycheck protection program fraud case, but it's there's something about it that's really grabbed me. The guy was living, uh, well, with one other guy, sort of, in an otherwise empty apartment in Long Island City, Queens, uh, with an air mattress and a shredder. Uh, he had three passports and a number of applications in for PPP loans. Massive PPP fraud. Um, he's in detention, so we noted that. There was, that caused some kerfuffle. There was a charge conference that was somehow not public. Anyway, it's an interesting case. We're not uh, on that one. We're letting some of the transparency issue go because the case is so interesting. In EDNY, we're not going to let a transparency issue go. There's a guilty plea that we went to attend um, over there, and it was suddenly canceled because we attended it. And they purported to just reschedule it, but now they've they've scheduled on very little notice a hearing to permit the sealing of the uh, proceeding. So we're going to have more on that and on the Barrick case over there. But we have to say, over the weekend, big developments. There was a uh, naval drone attack on a Russian ship in Sebastopol in Crimea, and then the Russians said they're not going to participate anymore in the Black Sea Grain Initiative, which, to my mind, I'm going to say it's overblown. This food is not really going to Somalia and Yemen for the most part. I, I've, I've, I've written articles about it. They themselves send it out that it's going to, like, Wales and the U.K., but we're... It's a failure, and Guterres sat in his mansion over the weekend, banning inner city press from entering the UN to do reporting, and now pretending to cancel for one day something to solve it. He won't, and we will report it. To be continued.